Welcome to another JC Matthew Space Drone 3.0 video talking more about helpful hints and tips when using your Space Drone 3.0. Today we're going to look more at the battery and care for your battery in the Space Drone 3.0. What I first want to do is talk about briefly about documents that come in the box. You will get two documents, two important documents in the box. One of them is the operator's manual and the second one is the uh, support document you get as well. Make sure you read that support document thoroughly. It contains all sorts of useful tips, hints, particularly if you're a new flyer, but also some do's and don'ts as well. Um, so make sure you read that document properly. So looking more about the battery. Here is the new battery, here is the LiPo battery you get with your new drone in the box. Um, so a couple of, couple of things about that battery. Firstly is don't drain those batteries completely. Um, you will want to, as you're flying, you will want to make sure you keep the battery monitor, the voltage in the upper right left hand corner monitored at all time, right there. And when that hits 14.8 volts, you know that you need to land the drone straight away. Um, so importantly, um, monitor that, but for two reasons. One, obviously you don't want your drone flying when, when the battery runs out completely. The second thing, of course, is that if you drain your battery completely, then you can damage or ruin that battery if it's drained out completely. So make sure you do follow that um, when you're out flying. So a couple of other things as well. Uh, only use the uh, charger that's in the box. Don't use a different charger. Second thing is don't charge the, uh, the battery for, for this, the controller, and for the drone together. Make sure you charge those separately. This also has a, um, a battery in it as well, like a battery. Uh, now the other thing I want to do is just show you quickly inside the drone. And this has the battery in there at the moment. You can see it's connected right now. Importantly, when you put your battery in, when you change your battery or add a new battery before flying, make sure that that's secured with the Velcro properly, because as the drone moves around, um, that battery can move as well, so you want that fully secured down. The second thing is, make sure, importantly, that once the battery is connected, that you put that battery cable and tuck it snugly in behind the battery between the case and the battery before you fly, so it's out of the way. Um, and now my battery can go on, my battery cover can go on, and that snugged up completely, making sure, obviously, that your arrow is facing forward. This is the front of the drone, this is the back. Thank you very much and I hope you've enjoyed our video.